What's up guys, my name is Ronnie and welcome to Dem TCG. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my Drytron deck updated for the April 2021 format. This deck is pretty insane and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we are with the updated deck profile for my Drytron deck. So as you may know, in the recent ban list that dropped a month ago, Benton and Union Carrier got hit. So that means some drastic changes had to be made for the Drytron deck. It is still a very, very competitive build. Uh, I'm able to create some pretty insane board with this Drytron deck. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get into it. But before that, be sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe to DemTCG for some more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon videos. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get straight into the main deck. First and foremost, let's go over the Drytron monsters. We're running triple copies of Drytron Alpha Thuban, three copies of Zeta, two copies of Gamma, and one copy of Delta. So each of these have unique effects. Uh, Drytron Alpha Thuban, uh, when he's special summoned, you can search for a ritual monster. Zeta, you can search for your ritual spell. Gamma, you can special summon a, another Drytron from your graveyard. And then Delta is an extra, just an extra draw. So in order to summon these, you need to tribute a, either a Drytron monster or a ritual monster to go ahead and special summon and resolve their effects on the field. Uh, really, really good. Uh, these the cards are really good for that grind game. I changed up the ratios from the last video simply because I think Delta is actually the weakest um, out of the uh, Drytrons that we run. So I actually boost up the Gamma ratio to two uh, simply because having that extra special summon, extra body on the field is really, really good. It goes into your insane link plays. So do keep in mind, you can only special summon them through Drytron effects. So either from themselves or from like Drytron Nova and like that. Um, so really, really good. These are the main Drytrons you'll be running in this deck. So next, we're going on to the fairies and we're actually not running Heralds anymore. So we're actually only running the one copy of Manju and then surprise Artifact Scythe. So Manju, if you're running any ritual deck, Manju is a really good card. Uh, it searches out your ritual monster or spell. Um, so really, really good. He's your main normal summon of the deck. And then you have Artifact Scythe. Uh, if you pop Scythe with Tornado Dragon, we'll get into the extra deck later. But if you pop Scythe with a Tornado Dragon, you can uh, create a extra deck lock onto your opponent. So most people catch, when they see this, they kind of catch them off guard. Artifact Scythe is really, really good. Since we're taking out a lot of the fairy engine, we're actually running more hand traps. So uh, we're running three copies of Ash Blossom and then three copies of Nibiru or Nibiru according to Pack. I don't know how you want to say it, but here we are. So Ash Blossom, of course, a very generic hand trap, stops almost anything that searches. Uh, and then Nibiru with Dragon Link being one of the top decks right now, uh, Nibiru is really, really good. Uh, I might take these out uh, just depending on your matchups. Uh, this is like it's really bad against like Shadal or like dinosaurs. So Nibiru is really, really good anyways um, for other like more aggro decks, aggro combo decks. All right. So moving on to our rituals. So we got the one and only Ben 10 sad face. I know. Uh, no more searching like crazy. Uh, this deck still searches a lot, but we do have the Megalith package uh, in here. So we're running two copies of full, one copy of Ophiel, and then one copy of Bethor. Uh, the Megaliths really do help out this deck a lot. Um, it gets you an extra Ben 10 search. So you're guaranteed to grab either a Manju or uh, your Artifact Scythe. The fact that Artifact Scythe is searchable from Ben 10 is really, really good. So just to get in the gist of each of the ritual monsters, uh, when Ben 10 is tributed, you can go ahead and search for a fairy monster from your deck. Full, if it's special summon through a ritual summon, uh, you can target one ritual monster uh, in your graveyard. So ideally you want to get Ben 10 and add it back to your hand. And another thing that Full does is it can ritual summon other megalith monsters that are in your hand or deck. And usually you would tribute your Ben 10 for your Ophiel. So Ophiel, uh, when he's a ritual summon, you can go ahead and search for a megalith monster from your deck. 
and then Megalith Bethor. Really, really good card, underrated. Uh, it breaks your opponent's board. Because depending on how many ritual monsters you have in your graveyard is how many pops you can have. So potentially you can have up to four pops uh, off of his effect. So really, really good. And then of course the bricks, we're actually running the Dragoon package. So you're gonna run the Dark Magician and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, Dragoon really helps out this deck a lot. Um, so these are your bricks, unfortunately, but you have to run them for the Dragoons. So we're actually gonna go ahead and move on to the spells. We're running still one copy of Miti Onus Drytron, and then we're running three copies of Drytron Nova, really good card, two copies of Fafnir, and then the one terraforming to search out your Fafnir. So Meteon is Drytron, of course, the mandatory one of, it's the uh, ritual spell card of the deck um, using your Drytron monsters uh, from your hand or uh, field to get out your ritual monsters. Drytron Nova is the e-telly of the Drytrons. Uh, really, really good card. Uh, really gets your combo started. Uh, Drytron Fafnir searches out either your Drytron, uh, Medionis Drytron or Drytron Nova. Um, and also it acts kind of like a magical meltdown where ritual monsters, uh, ritual summons rather, cannot be negated. Um, and also the, the uh, level thing does come up when you control a Drytron monster and a non-Drontron monster is summoned, you can lower their level to one. It does come up against probably like virtual world. So really, really good. And then of course the terraforming just to search out that Fafnir. Okay, and then next you're running more search cards. So your cyber emergencies and your preparation of rights. Also, we're running the one of Foolish Burial. Uh, cyber emergency searches out your dry trauma monsters. Uh, really, really good. Uh, Foolish Burial, I mean, another extender for this deck. And then of course, preparation of rights. You only run two of now. Uh, I took out the third one because you're almost guaranteed to search out your ritual monsters um, through other effects. So preparation of rights, uh, only two above, and I think it's correct, so. And to finish off the deck, we're running one of the one of Called by the Grave, Instant Fusion, and of course the Red Eyes Fusion for our Red Eyes package. Called by the Grave stops hand traps. A lot of players are running a lot of hand traps, of course, you know, Ash Blossom, Droll and Lockbird, Ghost Bell, and even, um, Dimension Shifter, Called by the Grave is really, really handy. And then Instant Fusion, you do run the Mel Millennium Eyes Restrict in this deck. Uh, it's just another way to out hand traps. And then of course the Red Eyes Fusion to get out your Dragoons. So that's it for the main deck. So moving on to the extra deck, the Link ones, uh, we're still running the Link Karibo and the Relinquished Anima. Uh, some people don't really pay attention to their zone, so Relinquish Anima is a good way to punish them. And then of course Link Karibo, uh, basically your, your go-to Link 1 with your Drytrons, since you're running a bunch of Link 1s. Next for Link 2s, we're running Predaplant, Verti, and the Condo for of course your Dragoons. IP Mascarena and of course the Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, to go along with the Nightmare Phoenix, we also do run the Nightmare Unicorn. IP Mascarena, it's a really good uh, interruption against your opponent. If you want, want to go through the Link Climbing, uh, you can always go Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn. And then Link Force, running the Moral Sword, Apollosa, and Access Code Talker. So Boral Sword, um, you know, if you want to make quick work of your opponent, uh, this one goes for games. Apollosa, you can make it through IP Mascarena uh, and then Access Code Talker, uh, of course, uh, for everything else. If you just want to just go ham and destroy everything your opponent has, Access Code Talker. For fusions, uh, we're only running two. Uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict and Dragoons. Again, your instant fusion target and then Dragoons because you are running Dragoons. Dragoon is really, really insane in this format. Um, so a lot of people, you know, you drop Dragoons and you can't get an out for it for, for the most part, right? So really, really good. And then for Xyz, running the one copy of Tornado Dragon, one copy of Liberalistic Assembled Nightingale, and then of course Downer Magician and Divine Arsenal, Double A, Zeus, Sky Thunder. Uh, Tornado Dragon is mainly just for um, popping the artifact scythe so that locks your opponent out of their extra deck. Um, Assemble Nightingale, of course, your Zeus play. So you would stack um, Nightingale into Downer Magician and into Double A Zeus. So your Double A Zeus has two board wipes. So Divine Arsenal Zeus is pretty insane in this format. So that's it for the extra deck. We're actually going to go ahead and 
go into the side deck. Um, the side deck is actually really, really interesting. Uh, I have made some interesting choices. So we do side in the Vanity's Ruler. Um, so, I mean, not all decks run extra deck. So having that scythe can be pretty redundant if they don't have an extra deck. But Vanity's Ruler uh, is the substitute for that. I mean, Vanity's Ruler, people still don't have a nice out through it. Um, and it's searchable through Ben 10. So Vanity's Ruler is good just for siding. Uh, I think it's really good going first uh, if you're guaranteed going first. Uh, next, we're running two copies of Denko Senka. Uh, Denko Seka, man, this, this card has helped me out so, so good. Um, this card is really, really insane. Uh, we actually, I actually went to, uh, locals a couple weeks ago. Uh, sorry with the delay of the videos, I know. Um, but a couple weeks ago, I actually topped eight, um, at my local tournament with this deck. And Denko Seka is a pretty big factor into that. Uh, there was a lot of outlets going on. Uh, and this just stops all that. If you don't know what it does, it prevents your opponent from activating set cards. So really, really good. Uh, next, hand traps are running two Ghost Bell and then I think three, yeah, three Droll and Lockbird. Um, these do come up, not all the time, but Ghost Bell is pretty good. Uh, and same with Droll and Lockbird. Three copies of Artifact Lancia. Dinosaurs is a hard matchup for this deck. So Lancia is really, really good to stop all their plays. Also, again, with like Phantom Knights, uh, Artifact Lancia is the card, go-to card for that. And then all the back row hate in the world you can think of, Cosmic Cyclone, Harpies, and Red Reboot. So that's about it for the deck profile. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drytrons, I think, is still a really, really good deck. If you just work around uh, the ban list, yes, Ben 10 and Union Carrier, there were huge cards that got hit for this deck, but in the end, Drytrons is still really, really good. So give this deck a try. I'll probably go ahead and make a test hand video after this. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe to Dem TCG for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon videos. I know with Pokemon, it's kind of kind of been hard lately. I don't know if you follow the trends, but uh, we're trying to do our best when putting up content. So about it, my name is Ronnie, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.